Hey guys, it's Kelsey Jones here. I'm going to be doing a review on my new HP Spectre Laptop 360 Convertible and I'm going to give you an entire review on this. I am not sponsored by HP. I simply bought this computer and I'm going to be doing a review on it. So, uh, this, this is a 13.3 inch laptop primarily for school and simple gaming like RuneScape. Um, it's the dark ash silver. It's not silver at all. It's like a brown and gold and I love the coloring right up my alley guys oh my gosh love it absolutely but we're going to talk about it and I'll get you guys a better look at this computer in a bit so the specs are it's the i7 processor 8th generation so that'd be the 8550U uh, I will say that I think it's the best uh, processor that Intel has out today uh, if there is any a better processor, I'm not aware of it because the price is probably insane. But I pretty much got the best CPU I could with my money with this one. It's got 16 gigabytes of dedicated RAM. And also that processor, I didn't mention this is 1.8 gigahertz. So, so let's talk about it. And I'm trying to think of anything else about the specs. Oh yeah, 360 SSD in here. So pretty good. Pretty good for the price. And... Uh, I will say that I really like this computer, and I'm first up, right up the bat, I'm going to tell you four out of five stars. So, and I'll tell you why in a bit. But anyway, let's give you all a close up at this computer. It's pretty nice. This is actually a gold coloring. For some reason, my webcam on my other computer is not picking that up. So, you have to understand that it looks much better in person than what I'm showing you because of the quality of this webcam and this laptop. It's not that great. Okay. I'm going with that 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 uh this coloring that you're seeing right now in the corner is a better representation of what the gold looks like. Okay, we're gonna open this up for y'all. I'm really like nervous holding this up in the air, but so we've got the keyboard, which is probably the best thing about this computer is the keyboard. It's so sturdy and it is absolutely wonderful. Also, the trackpad is great no complaints there wonderful wonderful love it uh the screen is also phenomenal the screen quality i watch netflix and youtube and the way i watch it is usually bent over like this i'll just lay it on the table and i'll watch it from this side and it truly is the quality of the screen i can't even tell you this this laptop the webcam i'm recording from would not do justice but the, the quality is uh incredible and you can also put it all the way back to tablet mode. But I usually just use it in computer mode and also when I watch Netflix and things like that. So, what is the drawback of this computer? And I'm extremely picky with my laptop. So you have to give this, take this with a grain of salt. But when you're doing daily activities such as YouTube or, you know, you've got Netflix up, YouTube in the background, your Gmail and you're surfing the web. Let's say you got four things open and really Netflix is taking the most out of your CPU. Um, it will get a little hot. And this is in the reviews for most people, so I'm not the only one who's noticed this. It gets a little hot up here where the speakers are. By the way, the speakers are great quality, and so is the mic, the internal mic, also really good quality. I'm very clear when I do my videos on this computer. But up here, it gets a little warm. The keyboard stays extremely cool, and so does this bottom part, but it gets very warm up here. The fans are not loud at all, but they do kick in whenever you're running some high... Uh, you, you're using a high percentage of your CPU. This computer is lightning fast too. I'll tell you that that processor does a huge difference. I have a I have slow internet and this thing is so fast. Huge difference compared to my older laptops. So yeah, it does get a little warm up here and you can feel it. If you're interested and you know that um, I play RuneScape and a lot of my content on my channels about that, this laptop runs RuneScape awesome, amazing. It does a great job, but then again, RuneScape can also run on your grandma's computer, so let's take that with a grain of salt as well. But yeah, it does get a little hot up here, so I'm not very sure if that bothers people. Do I think it'll fry your motherboard? No, I don't think so, but this computer also didn't mention has the Intel Graphics 6200 uh, so you can't be running games on this thing. I think you can buy the 15... 0.6 inch with like an upgraded lower end graphics 
But, um, and it's got more room for airflow, so I don't think it would heat up too bad. But the 13.3 inch is not for gaming. Uh, I don't think it would ever fry your motherboard unless you're playing like Overwatch on like high or something, which you, this computer could not even run. If you really push this computer and try doing like WoW on mm, high settings, it probably will fry the motherboard. So be really careful. Um, plays RuneScape great, doesn't overheat or anything like that. So just wanted to let y'all know. Haven't tried any other games on this. I think also like The Sims plays really well on this computer, things like that. Light gaming, uh, old Mass Effect games, things like that would probably run absolutely fine. You could even play Overwatch probably on like low on this computer. But then again, I would not risk it frying the motherboard. This thing heats up pretty well, and the reason why is because it's metal. It's not plastic like the older uh, HPs. It's really nice quality metal, and it will heat up up top where I mentioned where those speakers are. Uh, the next thing is the webcam. The webcam does fantastic under fluorescent lighting, but when it comes down to um, dark lighting like this or uh, sunlight lighting, the webcam is a little off. And what I mean by off is I was wearing a brown shirt last night testing it out and it looked purple because the lighting was too dim. So mm, now the, the webcam on this laptop does great with noise. It really cancels out the noise. It's just great. There's not much setting that you have except for brightness and hueness and all that. But the problem is, is that the infrared is off. That's the problem. Basically, if you're not in fluorescent lighting, the camera is going to be a little bit off on colors. When you're in really dark settings, it will have a little purple tint because of the infrared and that the problem that, that this webcam has. But the webcam, I, I can't pull it up. I just haven't pulled it up. There is some other reviews that do show the webcam. Honestly, it's not an amazing webcam, but it's not horrible. If it really bugs you that your brown shirt has a purple purple tint and dim lighting and you really feel like you want to show your friend that you have a brown shirt or something then or if you're a youtuber and that's really important to you then this is not the way you need to buy an external webcam for this but most people that do youtube buy an external webcam anyway so I wouldn't say that much is that much of it is a problem but yes it getting a little warm and also having the coloration off for the webcam, I would say it's four out of five stars. And I also think that HP really shouldn't ever make a webcam internally where it's like, no, you must be in fluorescent lighting for this webcam to be perfect. Otherwise, your colors are going to be off. That's just weird and not... I mean, you probably could adjust it and fix it, but I don't have time for that. And a lot of people that own the HP Spectre say the same issue. It's honestly, I think, a hardware. It's just the webcam. The infrared is off. And I think you can turn that off. I just haven't had the patience or time to figure it out. So is this a buy? Absolutely. It's worth its money. And I'll tell you why. You can get the MacBook Pro 2017 uh, it's a 13.3 inch, and um, you can get that for about $1,500, and it has an i5 processor. This is like the best processor that Intel has right now, and you can get this for $1,200. Also, this has a much better, and first of all, it's convertible. The MacBook Pro is not. Second of all, it's touchscreen. I think the MacBook, I'm not sure about whether the MacBook Pro is not is or is not also this keyboard is 10 out of 10 quality good job hp on that i think they did a great job and um i just think that i've checked out the macbook pro myself i think this is a better computer in general for the for your bucks hp did a really good job that being said you don't get the great technical support that apple provides uh, when you go to tech support for HP, oftentimes it's people from other countries because it saves them money, which is fine. I'm not saying that's a problem, but it can be a little bit hard to understand them, and they're going for by the book what they're told to do. So it, it, Apple support is a little bit more about you. Putting the customer first, HP is more about putting uh, them first, but that's 
that's the thing about Apple is you get what you pay for. If you're going to do an i7 processor with Apple, you're going to be paying about $2,000, 2200 It's It's nuts. So I definitely think this is worth the buy. I love this laptop. Oh, my gosh. The webcam gets on my nerves. The heating does not because it's not going to overheat. It's just because of the build of this laptop, which I would rather have the build of this laptop with a little bit of it being hot where the speakers are than having a plastic weak build with it being cool um, the fans do a great job it really doesn't go above I'll say above 45 degrees in there um, Celsius it doesn't really do that I don't think it goes above 45 degrees Celsius in my opinion I don't I just don't think it's gotten that hot for me playing like basic games like RuneScape so this is definitely a good computer and uh, I do think it's worth a buy, but if that heating is just a, a no for you and that webcam is a no, then don't get this laptop. But I th definitely think you get what you want for your buck. So if you like this um, review, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in my future uh, videos, please feel welcome to subscribe to my channel. I also want to say that I think I said this in the beginning of the video, but I am not sponsored by HP. I bought this computer on my own and just wanted to do this review for the sake of it. Thank you so much for watching, guys.